Hi friends, it's Sarah from Sweet Scents from the Dollhouse. I am bringing you December day two of our Vlogmas videos. Um, yesterday, my children did the very first one where my 19 month old went to the dollar store and spent $25 on whatever she wanted, um, which was supposed to be Christmas gifts from everybody. We were gonna wrap them up, but turns out she bought a whole bunch of stuff for herself. Uh, but that's okay too. Uh, so the Vlogmas and haul videos have been requested by one of my subscribers and I made an epic foobar. Apparently I have more than one gorgeous Marissa that follows my channel. Who knew that there was two amazing girls named Marissa that follow my channel. So my daughter did say the wrong last name. Marissa Smith is um, one of my customers and friends from Regina, Saskatchewan, and Marissa, I believe her subscriber name is XOXO. Anyways, I'm going to call her Marissa with the Drop Dead Gorgeous Pear. Her YouTube channel picture, holy girl, you've got it going on. I need to come and see your hairstylist. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be filming a Christmas theme video every day until December 24th. Um, so little back of story, I am probably the world's biggest Scrooge, so Vlogmas videos, um, maybe they'll help me get in the spirit of Christmas. Um, I used to like Christmas when it was magical, you know, when my kids were smaller, um, they grew up, they're now almost 18 and 14, and the magic without saying is no longer there right it's been gone for a while and we decided years ago quite a few years ago that they had everything that they needed they've got iPods iPads iPhones Playstations like anything a teenage kid could possibly want they've got it they've got the newest latest greatest everything and that's probably because their dad and I spoil them rotten and overcompensate you know like a lot of blended families do and we set the precedent years ago. And I know this is, I trust me, I know it's crazy. I've been told a million times, but I usually spend about $1,300 each kid. I know, stupidity. No kid needs that much. It's not what the holidays are about. And it's probably the reason it brings me such stress is because I spend way too much money on Christmas. Um, but it's hard. And if you're a new mom, like take this lesson for me. Don't, don't. I found, I know when they were younger, I found myself buying filler. Like I would check their Santa list twice. I would make sure that I got all of it, everything that they asked for. And then if they asked for one of these new dolls, I didn't just buy that one. I got that doll and six of her friends or all of the accessories or the minivan to go with the house. Then you just over the top. And when that still wasn't enough, I would find myself buying things, just random stuff because I wanted to have this overfilling, you know, extravaganza bonanza tree from hell when they woke up Christmas morning. You know what that stuff turned into? Shit. Filler for the toy box. So they would take it out of the package, play with it for two seconds, leave it laying around on the floor. I'd step on it once, curse, toss it in the toy box. And six months later, or even not even six months later, four months later, when their birthdays rolled around, I'm dumping this stuff that's only ever been played with once into the garbage to make room for the birthday do you know what I'm saying? Like now looking back on that, that was stupid, but because I've set the precedent, you know, how do you say, okay, Santa's only going to get you half of what he got you last year because that was obnoxious. You know, kids would think they're going to be like, was I bad? <laughs> I think I don't deserve what I usually get. No. Mum has realized that I'm ridiculous. I'm over the top and that is stupid. So we decided a couple years back 
once the magic was gone that instead of spending $1,300 on filler and garbage and stuff that they don't need that we would travel and we would make Christmas seven to ten days go on vacation lay on a hot beach and drink fruity drinks and come back with a wicked tan you know take a break from the Canadian winter uh, and comparably speaking for the same amount of money so it wasn't necessarily saving myself anything or spending any less but it was more fulfilling to our family anyways and then in early fall of 2015 we found out that we had a little magic on the way with Ella Bean so we are back to doing traditional Christmases and I'm so glad because my plan was like I was gonna sell every Christmas decoration I owned like we were done we were going to send Christmas postcards from whatever tropical beach we were laying on sucks to be you drowning in snow back home in Canada have a Merry Christmas love the dollhouse you know and I had never planned on celebrating a traditional Christmas ever again but now that Ella is here the magic is back She's a little too young and doesn't realize the magic is back, but she will. So here I am back to square one. What the heck do you buy a teenager who has everything? If you're a mom of teenagers and you have the answers, please comment down below because I'm clueless. I really am clueless and I'm starting to sweat it. I know I've said on my channel before, usually I'm done my Christmas shopping no later than December 5th. Wrapped, hidden away, done. That's me kicking back drinking eggnog and vodka relaxing for the rest of the holiday but this year I've been incredibly busy with my Scentsy business as well as the vendor events that I've committed to and I admit I'm starting to sweat it I'm starting to stress I've left it a little last minute and again people are probably thinking well man, you're nuts like there's lots of people out there who haven't even started but I have severe like crippling social anxiety and going to the mall and again you're probably like this girl is whack she does YouTube videos but I'm not talking in front of a room full of people I'm talking to my computer right now so there's varying degrees of social anxiety but the idea of going to a mall is like pff, my heart palpitates like finding a parking spot taking Ella to a mall where there's 40,000 people pushing, pulling, just in zombie, like, consumer mode, you know? No thanks. I hate it. I hate it. So I want to stay as far away from the mall as possible when all hell breaks loose. That's why December 5th is usually, like, my absolute cutoff. Like, psh, stockings, LCBO, for my American friend, like, Liquor Control Board Ontario, that's our, we have, like, liquor stores. Um, I, I hit up the, the liquor store, the gifts, like everything has to be done by December 5th. Today is December 2nd, people. And I've started. I'm really not even close to being finished. I might have to go through the Scentsy closet and decide. Everyone gets Scentsy for Christmas. Ta-da! <laughs> Ella would be opening warmers like, Mom? <laughs> So I have really got to get my shit together. Oop. Sorry, YouTube. I've got to get my snit together. And uh, super excited. I'm leaving for the United States again. I have a ginormous sense or multiple D stashes waiting for me. Super Tarts order. Barrett's wax craft order. Tons and tons and tons and tons of stuff to pick up while I'm in Michigan. As well as this Canadian is going shopping. My American subscribers and friends are probably like, our shopping isn't that great, but I invite you. Come north, see what our shopping's all about. You will be like, what? <laughs> You'll be so thankful you guys have the stores you do. So that's the plan. I am going to the States tomorrow and knocking off tons of my shopping. Tons. I just want to get it done and over with. In the meantime, I did another Walmart haul, and this is going to be out of sequence a little bit. There is already a Walmart haul in queue in my videos, so 
might seem a little repetitious. But anyways, while I was at Walmart today, I found this Christmas ornament for Ella Bean. So the girls and I all have these silver initials on the tree. And last year I got her like her baby's first Christmas ornament. And by the time I realized that I didn't get her initial, they were all sold out. So I got this one at Walmart today for $6 Canadian. They're really pretty. Um, I think I purchased Tatum and Grace's there about five or six years ago. And you know how like it's, it's obviously not real silver, but even sometimes like the fake silver tarnishes and gets like really grubby looking. They're still beautiful six years later, so they keep really nice. And for six bucks, that's a good price. Uh, Ella needed more long sleeve shirts and she also needs more holiday clothes. So this one was $4, my Christmas list, milk, love and cookies. Perfect. I think she only has like two or three Christmas sweaters so far. The next one is $4 as well. No need for mistletoe. Super cute. Except for... Can be further from the truth. She's the stingiest when it comes to kisses. She will give hugs, but she doesn't like kisses. The next one was a shirt from my dad. I know you can't see it because the sticker's on there, but stay frosty with a bunch of Christmas beers. Hell yeah. This is only eight bucks Canadian. Um, and my mom has like her annual company Christmas party is always a tacky Christmas sweater theme. And then they'll give tacky gifts as well. So one year they had just a budget, like a secret Santa. You couldn't spend over ten dollars and it had to be like the tackiest gift you could find and then I think last year was same idea secret Santa but tacky Christmas socks and I always buy my mom her tacky Christmas sweater just because she's not a shopper she hates going shopping I'm always out and about so look at this one holiday beers with some drunk reindeer on it often oh, says classy like that <laughs> <laughs> my mom will think this is hilarious to wear to her company Christmas party. So this one was only $24.97 in Canada. And I mean, it's a George sweater. And I think if you hand wash it and wear it seasonally, it would last. Like, it's not terribly made. I was actually quite surprised. Like, I thought, ooh, is this going to be like a one wash and it falls apart? But it's actually pretty good. Um, my mom is just not the best at hand washing clothes, so I'll have to remind her not to throw that one in the washer. Uh, and what was next? Oh, then you know me. I can't go anywhere without checking out the wax. Um, you'll see my epic realization and moment of confusion in my Walmart Sensational Haul number three video that's in the queue. But I realized while I was filming the video and opened this that it was only a 13 watt warmer. I picked up a second one. Uh, the first one I got was white. The second one is the blue. And the reason I was so confused is uh, back in the day when I used to have a Glade wax warmer, it was 20 watts. Like it was a powerful, powerful warmer. Um, they've since discontinued the Glade 20 watt uh, hot plate warmers, and now they're all 13 watts. I found out. Kicking myself in the ass because literally when Ella was born, I gave that warmer to my aunt, the retired Bad Mama Jamma. Super hot one, would have been awesome with vendor wax. So I might ask her if we can trade this one for the 20 watt for the 20 watt one. Um, but actually, I've been using these with my Fender Wax, Sensationals, my Soy Melts, and even the 13 watt Glade gets super hot. So if you're going to pick one of these up, use with caution. 
but I get the best throw on all my vendor and sensational wax with a Glade or I also have a Mainstays 25 watt warmer that works well, but I find this one works the best so far. Stay tuned because I have an 18 or 20 watt coming from Barrett's Waxcraft and I might even buy another 20 watt while I'm at Tractor Supply in Michigan tomorrow. Who knows? You know me. Can't go anywhere without hauling some wax. So yes, I purchased another Glade warmer. And these are regular in Canada, $13.97, but right now they're on rollback at Walmart for $9.97. So I thought, heck, I should pick up one more because the girls, well, I shouldn't say the girls, only Tatum is really starting to warm a lot of vendor wax in her room. Um, I don't know. I'll have to think about whether or not I'm going to let Grace use anything but Scentsy up there because she's kind of clumsy still. And then I hauled some wax. Of course I did. So, quick little story, again, because this is out of sequence. Usually the Sensationals um, are 348 in Canada. It's a teeny tiny bit less than what is in a Scentsy bar, but it is considerably cheaper. Um, I find Sensationals isn't really authentic scents, but they're not terrible. It's certainly not Scentsy. Um, but recently I've noticed, and we don't get the selection that the U S gets. We get a teeny tiny selection and no scent descriptions. And if you go on the sensationals website in the States, you guys have tons. We get about this much and not nearly as good as you guys. But recently while I was at my local Walmart, I found these. And they have the Made in the USA stamp, as well as some U.S. limited edition ones. And they've got this sticker over top. And it says, Scented Wax Cubes, imported by Rimports, which is usually the case. But I bet if I peel the sticker off, these are American ones that they sent up here. I have no idea why, and I have no idea for how long. I wonder if I can get this off. But I went into a Walmart. Yeah, these are American. It's got an American, um, what do you guys call it? Zip code on it. Yeah. So I went into my local Walmart and found all of this U.S. wax that we normally can't get. It was only $1.88. Hell yeah. So I had to stock up. And again, this is my second, this is my fourth Walmart haul video, but you guys haven't seen the third one yet. Um, but this is technically the second time I've been in there hauling this U.S. wax. I will get my videos caught up. Anyhow, the other cool thing about it was if you've ever shopped Walmart Sensational Wax, that aisle is just a nightmare. Like it's a disaster. Nothing is where it's supposed to be. It's crazy, but there's a whole section of American wax for $1.88 and then there's a bunch of stuff mixed on it. And they don't all say made in the USA, like these sensational ones, but these ones are $1.88. There was tons mixed in there. I just picked whatever I wanted. And I said to the girl at the cash register, some of these are $3.48, some of them are $1.88. Just so you know, they were like all in the same spot, but and I was trying to separate them for her. She's like, oh, it doesn't matter. And she's bringing them through. And I'm watching them. And I'm like, okay, yeah, they were mixed up. She voids all the 348 ones and gives them to me for $1.88. That was so cool of her. She did not have to do that. And then I'm like, shoot, I should have picked up more. <laughs> but really, I don't need any more. I really don't need any more wax. So the first one was Violet Cocktail, and I believe this one you can get regularly in Canada, and the price on this one should have been $3.48. Um, it reminds me of, like, a really floral Chardonnay. It's nice. I'm not sure that I would identify it as Violet, but it's really pretty. Um... 
Sensationals is really creative with their descriptions, the ones that you can find, as well as their titles. Um, this one's not bad. It's really nice. Nothing on the Sensi menu that I could war it against. Probably warm this around the new year and then even save the rest of it for spring and summer. I think I'll really enjoy this, especially in the spring and summer. I'm going to try and sort out the Canadian ones. Okay, so here's another Canadian one, Red Hot Cinnamon. I am planning on doing a Wax Wars against Cinnamon Bear with this one because all it is is, yep. Yeah smells exactly like cinnamon hearts so I know that's a great seller the cinnamon bear we even have it in a scentsy brick this year um, it's a lot of cinnamon to me I would probably warm that actually I should probably see I just gonna say I should buy that bar too or that brick because I would totally warm cinnamon bear and Red Hot Cinnamon in February for Valentine's Day. Maybe I could save this Wax Wars for Valentine's Day. Lots of people love it at Christmas time. I personally like it at Valentine's Day. So yeah, this is one that's available in Canada regularly, $3.48. The next Canadian one that I found, I had never seen this one before, was Praline Spice. And I didn't even have to buy this. Because the more I smell it, I'm like, I think I already have one of these. Turns out it smells identical to Sensational's Cinnamon Sticky Buns. So if you have this one or vice versa, they are, I swear, the exact same bar. except this one's lighter and the cinnamon sticky buns has literally a teeny 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 tad more cinnamon than this one so shoppers out there if you like sensational wax you don't need both of these you could get one or the other because they're pretty much identical Sensationals is a bit of a scam in that regard. Some of their scents are like psh, almost dupes of one another. So yeah, this was from a previous haul. After I smelt it at home, I was like, this smells so familiar. I've smelt this before. That's what it was. And so I think the rest of them are the American Wax. This one, Black Pepper and Rosemary at First, I picked this up just out of curiosity, so I'm like, oh, that'd be disgusting. No, it's not. It's gorgeous. What is that? Sorry, Grace is making Indian food, like nan bread from scratch and trying to burn my house down. Anyhow. All is good. The dollhouse is not on fire yet. So black pepper and rosemary is gorgeous. It says limited edition. I've never seen like this version of Sensationals in Canada before, and it was $1.88. Um, it's, yeah, it's the exact same size. I don't know why the label maybe makes it look smaller I have no idea but it's the exact same amount of wax for $1.88 in Canada and this is gorgeous I would love it if Scentsy would come out with a black pepper and rosemary it's super earthy more rosemary than the black pepper Almost reminds me of this, um, like this uh, cold cream that I used to have from an organics whole food store not long ago. It's gorgeous. It just says aromatic Mediterranean blend. Beautiful. If you're Canadian, go to your local Walmart and see if you can find this. $1.88.
that's a fantastic price. I will let you know how that one performs. The next one was Sensational's Rise and Shine. Sorry, I don't have scent notes for this one. I have no idea what this reminds me of. Like, oh. do you remember Peaches and Cream Quaker Oatmeal? You know how it came with that, like those fake chunks of peach? That's what it reminds me of. Peaches and Cream Quaker Oatmeal. It smells good. Very light. I'd be interested to see if this is a good performer because it's really light on cold. But it's nice. For $1.88, I thought it would be worth a try. And again, nothing that I could like measure it with um, for wax wars. The next one I picked up was Apple Bobbin. This one smells fantastic. And usually Sensationals isn't really like authentic sense. This is the closest fruit scent I have ever smelt from Sensationals. I was impressed. And had they had more of this, I would have picked up several of them. It's really good. All things considering. Because, I mean, Sensationals, they try, but it's... You know, they they always seem to miss the mark, or they're not quite as authentic as Sensi. Most of the time, they're not even close. This one, mind blowing. I was like, wow. Wish that there was more. I'm almost like borderline having enough of apple because I did warm a lot of apple scents in the fall. But you know, it won't go bad, and I could probably warm it throughout the summer as well. Uh, next one I picked up was, well, this is the first time for you guys, but more Blackberry Cider. Um, you'll see this in my other haul video. I absolutely love this fragrance. It is a United States version and it says limited edition. This is so nice. And you will see this in this week's coming episode of Wax Wars. It is not traditional cider, but it is a cider. So I thought, heck, we should put it in Wax Wars against Cider Mill. And I will let you know how it turns out. It is gorgeous. And it's a really good performer. I was impressed. So I have bought multiples of this Blackberry Cider since a Festive Refresh. Limited edition. So yeah, my American friends too. If you haven't tried this yet, check it out. And the last Sensationals that I purchased today was Turkish Spice Market. This is probably my second, ooh, I don't know. Yeah, I'd say my second favorite Sensationals bar that I've found so far. My first one being Egyptian Cotton. That one's amazing. But Turkish Spice Market is really nice too. I am missing one. I knew this was going to happen. I dropped one in the car. It's got to still be in the car. <laughs> okay, so Turkish Spice Market, it reminds me of incense, which leads me to the next one. The next one that I got was um, an incense one, and it's deadly. It's so good. It reminds me almost of like uh, Karma from Lush. Not as good as Lush, but close. So yeah, Turkish Spice Market and the, another incense one. So in total, there is two, four, six, eight, ten sensationals. And then I bought Glade Melts. So you will see in my other one or my other haul that I purchased, what was it? Comfy Cozy Cider or something like that. And now this one is... Cozy Autumn 
cuddle. And I believe the price point on the Glade mounts is $4.97, and I must live under a rock because I had no idea Glade did mounts. So I got all excited, and I'm like, this must be a Christmas thing. No, dumbass, it's been around for a long time. They had, like, leftover summer scents and spring scents, and I live under a rock, clearly. But for $4.97, I thought, uh, it's a little expensive. I'm like my $1.88, you know, because for $1.88, if it sucks, I'm not really that ex disappointed. But $4.97, I know a Scentsy bar in Canada is $8, but I know Scentsy is going to be good. So I don't mind spending $8. When you spend $5, it could be a gamble if it's garbage, right? I'd rather spend a couple more extra dollars and get something I know is going to be spot on. I have no idea what happened with this one. <laughs> no idea. So the scent notes say Heir heirloom pumpkin, caramel, and spice. When I smelled this in the store, they had two Glade pumpkin scents, and I picked this one out of two. I smelled it at home, and I was like, Oh, God. <laughs> the first one must have been really bad because this one is not great. I don't, like, I, I smell the heirloom pumpkin, which is, it smells like pumpkin. It's nice. I don't know what it's kind of spice. Or maybe it's Glade's version of caramel, but... Holy hell. I'm cold. This is horrible. Uh, if I wasn't so lazy, I'd find my receipt and take it back and exchange it for something better. <laughs> or heck, maybe I'll warm it and see what it's like. I don't know. I could be surprised, but buyer beware. I have no idea what I was smelling in Walmart that made me think that this smelled good. Or perhaps after smelling like all of these, you know, my nose is broken, but Blade's Cozy Autumn Color smells rank, like not nice. I'll have to decide what I'm going to do with that. But to make up for that food bar, I also purchased Glade's Warm Flannel Embrace. This one is amazing and it's actually warming in my room right now. So the scent notes are fern, sandalwood, and cardamom. This is gorgeous. I was so impressed. I love it. Absolutely love it. It is a beautiful, really light masculine scent. The only thing it was missing was patchouli. But if this had patchouli in it, it would be phenomenal. Guess what I have, thanks to a recent random act of kindness. I have soy wax melts in patchouli essential oil. So I mix them together and oh my goodness. Maybe that's what I'll do. Maybe I will go back to Walmart and exchange this for more of this because if you haven't tried um, Glade's Warm Flannel Embrace. I would highly recommend this one. And it's a terrific performer. So yeah, that's it for day two of my Vlogmas videos. I need to get to bed because I have a long trip to Michigan in a couple hours from now. And wish me luck. I am going Canadian crazy in the States. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, smash the bell above for future content notification, and I will bring you more videos, maybe from America. Bye for now.